So the in-laws are in from out of town. The uh-huh. family's worried about looking strange. Yeah. At the end, the message is just like, you know, everyone should be yourself. Sure. Adam's family is La Caja Fall. Huh. Well, 110 in the Shade is just the music man. And while we're at it, Mamma Mia is a clear ripoff of Carmelina. Carmelina, here a gold game. Hi. Ma- Hi. I'm Paul. I'm David. We're the Regatta Songbook. And this is the first official episode of Broadway on Deck. Hey, All Things Broadway Channel. We've got a little survey for you. Check all the boxes that apply. No cheating now. Are you the biggest theater nerd in your school? Do you think that sports are lame, but Adina is cool? Have you ever said, I can't, I'm in tech? Does your weekly tap class keep you in shape? Do you know all the words to Hamilton, CR, and mixtape? Do discussions about bootlegs always leave you a wreck? Are you on top of every musical trend? Do you cry to think that someday even Phantom will end? Do, Do you, you have, have the range for any role from Annie down, down to Amy and Beck? So if you're that theater lover and you know that you are And you need to know which role they start before they're a star Then tell me how many boxes did you check? What you Broadway on Deck! Welcome to Broadway on Deck! Hey, nice to have you. Now we're going to start with some great news. We had so much fun filming our preview episode. And if you haven't seen it, there is a link in the description below. That's right, go check it out. And the top brass over at All Things Broadway HQ has decided to pick us up for a full season. And what makes that full season possible is our second bit of great news. We have been granted a fellowship by Sokoloff Arts to film here at Town Stages, their lovely brand new Tribeca location. All right, news out of the way. Yes. So, what can you expect from Broadway on deck? And who even are we? And where even are we? Oh, we covered that. Right, right, right. right. We are the Regano Songbook. We write musicals. In fact, uh, we won Best Score at New York Winterfest last year for our musical, You Heard It Here, which is a musical review about introducing all of the new up-and-coming talent of musical theater before they are famous. Present company very much included. Damn skinny. And as an extension of that mission, we've decided to bring that yet unknown talent to you. You, specifically. Mm, or, no. or anyone. No. Like you, Alex. Who is Alex? 60,000 members in All Things Broadway, there's got to be someone named Alex, and this is going to freak them out. Uh, Or anyone like you who can't make it to New York on a regular basis to see new theater. Like Alex over there. Anyone. So we've got a great lineup of people for you, wonderful performers. So here comes the first official episode of Broadway on Deck. (laughs) Hello. We hope so. Hi. (laughs) Welcome, welcome Jenny Paul. Hello, how uh, are so you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am great. Good. You're pretty fancy. I'm fancy. I think so. Oh. I think that Jenny Paul is fancy. Okay, I'm fancy. Let's let's talk about what makes you so fancy. Where might our viewers have seen you um, uh, in the past leading up to In the past? That's a great question. Um basically I've been kind of in and out of doing things in New York mm-hmm. for a really long time. Um the first big thing I did um, was a web series called That Reminds Me um, mm-hmm. that I co-produced with two other people. And um, also, I have a couple of big projects coming up, but I'm, I'm going to save those for the end. For the coming correct? up section. For the coming up section um, that you might have seen me in or uh-huh. will see me in the next couple of weeks. Nice. And where can people find That Reminds Me? Oh, uh, thatreminds.me.com. That Reminds Me. That we'll put it <laughs> right in front of the flowers. There you go. Um, uh, <laughs> Great, and let's talk about where the the show that we did together yes. that you will be singing from. Holy cows! Holy cows! Holy cows! The holy cows the of holy Credence, cows. South Dakota. It's a really long title. Yes, so we just call it Holy Cows. Holy cows. Hashtag With cows the, the musical, I guess. Expl- exclamation, <laughs> exclamation point! Exclamation point! Boom! Um, so you did the Planet Connections. Yes. Festivity. So what was that? Five years Five ago. Five years ago. Oh, I remember because it was the last. Um, it was the last show I did before I got my equity card. I got my equity card halfway through, uh-huh. or I was about to get my equity card, and I was like, can we hold for like another three <laughs> weeks? Because Cause otherwise we couldn't have afforded Because otherwise it. I couldn't do the show, and I was really enjoying doing the show. So I'm glad I got to do the yeah. show. And so you sang a song in, in uh, Holy Cows yes. called Mr. Right Now. Yes. 
of course your performance was wonderful, but I also think that the the song helped a little bit in this. What was the result of you singing that song in that show? In that oh, festival? shoot. Yeah. I, I won a, a Best Featured Actress in a Musical Award for that. And Fancy. I think I think he's right. I think this. I think you're right. I think the song very much helped that. It's a really, it was really an empathetic part of the show, mm-hmm. and it really helped people connect to the character. Yeah, and we will be doing a reading of Holy Cows at Gallery Players. We'll give you that information. But this song is not in the show anymore. So, Sorry. Come, you, oh, this is the only place you can hear it. And then you got to come see the show to see what the new song is. So, um, last thing, what's, com- what's coming up for you? Well, it's so exciting. This just happened. Um, I just, oh yeah. Um, so, I'm in a show called The Looming Tower, mm-hmm. which is Jeff Daniels, Peter Sarsgaard. Um, and I'm a recurring CIA agent. Uh, yeah, I know. It's exciting. Mm-hmm. I'm in eight of the episodes. And by in eight, I mean I'm in a couple like scattered, but then I have some real episodes toward the middle. Uh-huh. So look in like episode 104, 105, eight. Okay. Um, so yeah, I play this like, you know, crazy CIA agent nice. who is very, very devoted to her cause. Very. And we, I've started watching the show. We haven't gotten to your big stuff yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I look forward to it. Where can they see that? Oh, that's on Hulu. That's Hulu. And I also... Legit. I, I also am uh, on the season premiere of Jessica Jones. That's which right. Which is crazy. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Premiering on my birthday. What? March, March 8th? 8th? Yes. yes. Happy birthday so, to you. Jessica Jones, uh, Looming Tower on Hulu, and go see her web series, and let's go sing a song. Let's go sing a song. All right. Okay. Here we go. Spend some not so lonely nights with any number of Mr. Rights and almost everyone a holy cow. But Mr. Right without the stuff is more like Mr. Good Enough. So Mr. Right turns out to be Mr. Right now. Should be a sight for sore eyes A vision like a soldier coming home And yes, my eyes are sore But it should come as no surprise It's from crying when a man begins to roam And I wonder why a beautiful smile Means he's yours for a little while Put my faith in a joke Said he wanted more than just a day I guess that's just my vice Cause when the sun came up you know The Joe had perked and up and gone away And I wonder why we're rounding third base Once we're finally at my place of Listerine. So I say goodbye to wishes and hopes, all the jerks and all the dopes who cannot allow a pretty eye to make them stay put by car or by foot. It's no way, no how. My heart gets caught in a twister and here I am taking this vow I'll find me the mister who's 
stay once he's kissed her. I need to find Mr. Right now. Ian Brodsky. Paul Regano. That's a good start. <laughs> Tell everybody a little bit about what you've done, where they might have seen you before. Yes, um, well... I don't want to say, like, you probably know me from, but, like, if you know me from anything, it's probably from uh, the film Begin Again uh, by John Carney, uh, starring Mark Ruffalo and Keira Knightley. Um, I play Malcolm in that. That was my first job. Um, yeah, it was it was surreal. It was incredible and unreal. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that is a film that, uh, that's a film you can find on Netflix now. So I highly recommend people checking it out. There you go. We're driving business to Netflix. Please sponsor us. Please. So, um, yeah, so you didn't want to say it, but you said it. It was, it's fine. It's good. It was good. Oh, great. I'm, I'm Thanks. Proud of you. <laughs> you didn't want to say it. If you've probably seen me from, but you did. Yeah, like it's. But it's, you said it very gracefully. Thank and I'm you. I'm proud of you. Is Mark Ruffalo nice? He is the most amazing human being I've ever met on the face. No offense. I've ever met. <laughs> um, um, he is just a delightful human being, and he knows very well that I want to be him when I grow up. Um, and he's... You heard it here first, folks. Yeah. John, Mark um, Ruffalo is a time-traveling Ian Brodsky from the future. It's true. Um, no, he's great. I mean, like, he is just the nicest person. And, like, I got really lucky that everyone on set was just super chill and kind and very warm. And it was a very great introduction into, like, this business. Yeah. Um, so I really lucked out. What are you doing now? Tell me. Ooh. Well, nowadays, um, casually. Yes. Um, I, uh, nowadays I'm working on um, a web series called Subletters that I co-created. Uh, um, my friend Nick Brigadier and myself are creating that as we speak. Mm -hmm. um, and I currently run a podcast called uh, The Thing That Happened This Week, and um, that is co-hosted with uh, my dear friend Claire Manship. So every week we uh, tell um, a story of what happened to us, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, or anything in I between. I love it. Check out the podcast. Check out the web series. Yeah. Check out Ian. Hey! I know it's not polite to stare, but I really can't resist, cause I hadn't been aware. All of the other girls are turning green Due to your more than obvious inner strength Your practically unending length Those are the longest legs I've ever seen Those are the longest legs I've ever seen Oh Mary, straight from the floor I'll throw your in between no one else like you at all Well, no one else who's quite so tall Those are the longest legs I've ever seen Now I've seen legs Like a rocket has But oh, those legs That silhouette has Driving me crazy Those are the longest gams I've ever spied God damn it, looking right at me Sitting down or climbing stairs And look at that, they come in pairs Those are the longest legs I've ever seen Now I've seen legs in a museum But oh, those legs, you gotta see them Just to believe them Those are the longest stems I've ever owned Just a bit absurd how happy I'd be if you had
had a third. Those are the longest legs I've ever seen. SJ. What's going on, David? The entertainer. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> According to uh, Facebook? social media, Facebook. <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. Now it's just SJ, by the way. But it's we'll... just, okay. Right, right, right. It's all right. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time. Very long time. Yeah. How, how long have we known each other? I believe since the year 2000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> since yeah. high school. High school, that's right. But let's talk about let's talk about things since high school. Where might people know you from? Because you've done some cool stuff since high school. Well, I mean, one of the biggest things I've done, I played HUD and Hair in the Italian version of uh, Hair. So it wasn't Italian lyrics, uh, but as far as, no, excuse me, the songs were in English and the words were in Italian. Nice. So, yeah, but they would also know me from Monumental Mysteries. I played mm -hmm. um, William Craft. Uh, and it's on Netflix right now, if you look at Monumental Mysteries. And I also was in Celebrity Ghost Stories as James Baldwin. Okay. So those are some of my TV credits. So, yeah, all over Netflix. Netflix <laughs> really now. Let's get on that. Uh, and also, uh, if, if I remember correctly, didn't you get your armpit sniffed on Broad I, City? Oh, I, I was going to mention that. Yes, I am the yoga armpit sniffy. Yeah. Alana, you know, and I. We actually talked about that. Yeah. I, I said something along the lines of, well, you know, if the stakes aren't high, then don't do it. So she was just like, you know, you're right. I'm going to sniff your armpit. So she definitely committed to it. It's great. It's a great. If, we, if we can legally get an image of that, we're, we'll post right, 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 it. Right, right, um, right. And, and what else? What's, what's new? What's coming up for SJ? Well, um, right now I'm currently writing. I'm actually writing a musical. And I want to talk to you guys. You didn't tell I me. know. I didn't tell them. It's, it's you know. on me in the interview. <laughs> but if you're on my Instagram, which is SJ Music, which I'm sure you'll have on the screen we'll somewhere. That, yeah. <laughs> I spoke about it. I, Paul was on it one time. I said that I'm working on a musical. I'm now hosting a live um, open mic in New Rochelle every Monday night at Gnarly Vine. I just became the host. So that's at nice. 501 Main Street, New Rochelle. So that happens. And I want my Broadway singers, my actors, everybody to come and you know show their mm -hmm. talents. And of course, I will be singing some stuff you know yeah. on that too but but yeah be, beyond that i'm writing and i'm just you know creating i'm creating a new album i have a new album coming out and Amazing. the album yeah yeah the album is um is alternative rock tinge so very different from what people know me from uh -huh. so i'm working with um steve wallace he's the producer of my first ep so that's coming out very shortly Great. where yeah. are people going to be able to get that uh everywhere you know it's going to be on itunes everywhere. it's going to be streamed and if right now you can get my self-titled ep sj on every every platform as well so yeah nice uh -huh. and you're also going to be joining us on march 14th at the duplex at 9 30. that's yes. right for the ides of march the ides of march extravaganza Ex fifth Fifth. Number five. Okay. So yeah. the fifth annual? This is, this is is a, that, yeah. This okay. is going to be a big deal. All right. And that's at the duplex, right? That's at the duplex. Okay. We'll put all of that information where you can get tickets to that, that here because you got to come see him. That is awesome. But yeah. if you need any more convincing that you have to come to see him, <laughs> you got to hear him sing. Oh, well, thank you so, so let's, much. Let's sing something. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Fall in love with me, fall in love with me. Fall in love like you know what it is. Give your heart like you know where to put it. Give your all like you know when it ends, when enough is enough, when too much crosses that line. Touch my heart. 
again Don't make me hurt you this much Don't make me do what you did to me I'll make you hurt the way you made me hurt Made me suffer Fall in love with me again Stay up nights with me Howl at the moon Give and give and give all you want to But don't take my heart and drop it Don't take my heart and break it Don't take my heart in your hands and your eyes and your teeth and your grass Fall in love with me again Fall in love everybody if you liked it tell your friends if you didn't like it still tell your friends other people might like things that you don't like that's just your opinion and if you want more Broadway themed content be sure to like this video and subscribe to the all things Broadway channel so that you never miss an episode of Broadway on deck or any of the shows that they've got coming up in the future that's right as always, a huge thank you to our performers, Jenny Paul, Ian Brodsky, and SJ. He's Paul. He's David. And this has been Broadway on Deck. That's a winner. Solid. So if you're a theater lover and you know that you are, and you need to know which Broadway start before they're a star, then tell me how many boxes did you check? What you Broadway on deck. Yeah. Don't, I don't, camera doesn't exist. You yeah. good. Here we go. You do though. That's what this is yes. for.